Hi guys, I am back. So today I am going to talk about pull out to focus in, maintaining your peace as a federal employee. Oh, we have those days where our coworkers are just a little bit more marvelous <laughs> on a particular day than others. And so we have to maintain our peace. And 2 Timothy 2 and 4 International Standard Version says, no one serving in the military gets mixed in with civilian matters for his aim is to please his commanding officer or commanding father. That's what the Holy Spirit just dropped in my spirit, replacing the word officer with father. And that's Jesus Christ. You can't get mixed up into gossip that your coworker wants to talk about or, you know, just different things that are time wasters on your job. What this scripture is basically saying, God did not assign you to your job to make your coworkers happy, like I said, gossip with them, or get pulled into a back and forth email battle. And what I mean by that is a friend called me today saying her coworker lied on her and added management to the email. Yikes. <laughs> I was just like, wait. Girlfriend, you need to pull out to focus back in. You need to get your focus back. You cannot let your ego take over and you're trying to prove yourself and, you know, no. She said that she typed so much to where her fingertips were hurting. Fingertips. So it didn't sound like she was at peace. In doing that and I know emotions can take over I know you know our ego gets bruised you know especially if you're an employee that does great work you know you're a performance award-winning employee and which she is basically but oh and she also said she had to stop by the store to get her some Epsom salt to soak her fingertips in so <laughs> she basically lacked self-control you know, which Galatians talked about, you know, five and 22 through 23. I said, you know, did you pray for this person who lied on you? You know, and she was just like, no. You know, did you pray for the manager to see the truth in the whole situation? And she was just like, no. So I had to tell her really quickly, you know, because I had to get back to my work day you know, to pray for them. And also a good federal employee keeps every email. So attach that email where the proof is within that email to clear your name. And managers know good workers. They know who's working. They know who's not working. They know, especially if you've been working there for a while, they know. But our boss also knows that's God. God knew you were going to, you know, get falsely accused before you was even in your mother's womb. He knew this day was coming. So, you know, we can kind of get caught up in the emotions of things and, you know, trying to prove ourselves right and trying to change this person on our job and, you know, this and that. But no, this is a test <laughs> to see if you can keep your cool and manage your self-control to be in control of yourself and not let flesh take over so what i told her also is to just take a walk around the building she can pray in her head you know for those two people and go back just one lap you know go back and type the email up you know now that she's had a clear head, you know, and, and attach your documentation. Every federal employee knows that email will solve a lot of confusion and keep things straight. So for all those new federal employees out there, never delete an email. I know that may seem, you know, OCD or, you know, 
too much stuff going on, save your emails because it'll save you a whole lot of headache in the long run. And again, find a solution, find a solution. And you attaching the email will be the solution and will vindicate you. So there's really nothing to worry about. You can also take a deep breath at your desk, you know, before you type the email up or say a quick prayer, you know, at your desk, if it's something hot that you just really need to get out, you know, you could do that. My sister says, get a squishy ball. You know, those little squishy balls, you can just squeeze, you know, keep it in your desk drawer and just squeeze that a couple of times and pray and then send the email along with your attachments of, of the emails of whatever you need to actually prove to uh, vindicate yourself and make sure, like I said, copy your manager. Or you can also talk to this person. You know your coworkers. You know them. You know them. You know if you can talk to them or if you just have to deal with them via email. You know who you're dealing with. So pray about that. Let the Holy Spirit lead you and then take action. You know, my advice to you, I wouldn't leave it, you know, the whole day and try to address it the next day. No, you nip it right in the bud via email if you can't talk to that person. And so another piece that I wanted to mention here is I'm a nice person. And sometimes I just wanna fix everyone's problems, but I have to tell myself, no, pull out and focus in on what you have to do. Or sometimes I'll say, pull out to pull in, pull in that focus, pull in that concentration. Pull in on what your supervisor has assigned you to do for that day. Focus in on that. You know, just just come on out. You're, you're too close into the matters of other civilians. And it's funny that the scripture used that word because that's what federal employees are known as. Civilian matters. Pull out. You're... You can't get sucked into their problems every time they have a complaint. You know, and the coworker, this particular coworker, just hypothetically speaking, has probably been complaining about this particular issue for six months. You know, and I know federal employment takes time and everything, but they haven't taken a class or training on anything. How to deal with conflict, how to be more assertive how to have interpersonal communication skills, work on you. If you're going to every job and you seem to have a, a issue with everybody at that job, the common denominator is you. And I'm, I'm preaching to myself as well. Why? Because I had to take a, a, an assertiveness class. Yes, the one who is on these videos telling you about federal employment, I had to take an assertiveness class. I had to strengthen up my skills because that's the area that I was weak at. I was weak in that area, you know? And so it's all about getting better, getting better. You know, and again, I'm not a therapist, so I cannot sit and listen to a coworker or even friends, you know, or family members. They wanna call you after they get fired and talk about that no you can watch some of my videos and pray and you know just continue to look for employment you know it's not being mean it's setting boundaries you can't cross into this jurisdiction no no can't you know, after one time we talk about it and then I see you're not making any changes. No. We have to have boundaries and self-control, as I mentioned. You know, and I'm not saying don't talk to anyone on your job. No, be cordial, be nice. How was your weekend? You know, small talk. And some people don't even do that. Some people just say good morning and just leave it at that. You know, because I don't go all into 
details of my weekend with people either. That's just me. I'm not saying if you do that, that's wrong. But that's just me. Again, stay away from drama, gossip. And my final advice is treat your job like it's your business. I think that'll solve a lot of confusion. But don't take anything. <laughs> treat your job like it's your business. You're the CEO. You're the CEO of you. And I think a lot of drama will be gotten rid of if people just thought about it like that. You wouldn't waste time or be on your cell phone if it was your business. So, you know, I just had to come on to just, you know, mention that. It was heavy on my heart and pull out to focus in, make every day count and have a great day tomorrow. Talk to you guys later. Bye.